I want to start off today's show by talking about uh, the money in the bank. Okay. And, you know, WWE is still going forward with money in the bank, but they're doing it in a different way. They announced uh, since the last time we you know talked to you about things beyond Brian Pillman Jr. that they are doing a new money in the bank concept. It is this uh, money in the bank climbing the, the corporate ladder uh, and where they are going to the WWE. Th- this honestly... Uh, sounds like a dream come true for us a, a, as you know, two people that want to visit WWE headquarters itself. So they're going to start this thing on the ground floor of the WWE headquarters, and they have to make their way all the way to the roof where the Money in the Bank briefcases will actually be. I just, I think in terms of making the best out of a bad situation, mm-hmm. this sounds like a tremendous, tremendous idea. And immediately when they announced it, my, my head just started swirling with all these different like things of what could possibly happen. But honestly, the first thing it went to was that WWF attitude commercial <laughs> that they did, you know, for the Super Bowl with, you know, Sable, you know, we never use sex to enhance our image. And, you know, Stone Cold and Undertaker, we're good, wholesome family entertainment. Uh, th- like that whole thing with the guy getting thrown out the window and then Vince saying, get it? Uh, that's where this is going to go down. And I'm I'm here for it, man. What do you, what did you think about this whole announcement and just the concept? Also, yes, I it also reminded me of when Stone Cold was at the 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 building all day that one episode and they kept checking back with him and he would like answer the phone at the front desk. Oh, when he was CEO. Yes, yeah. yes, and he's telling the girl how to do it. Then he had the conference meeting in the conference room and he was like giving beer to everyone. Yes. And just going around just learning the ropes of who does what. So it's like it, if, if it could be like in those same hallways again in some way, I'm totally down for it. But yeah, no, I'm super excited because one, as you said, they're trying to take this situation, you know, just the pandemic that we're living in. They're trying to make something out of it. And who knows, maybe that they saw the great feedback from the, the matches that they quote film outside of the performance center, like the Boneyard match or the Bray Wyatt's you know, Firefly Funhouse match with Cena, that these pre tape quote like cinematic style matches done outside the arena, it's a good way just to kind of change up the pace and the viewing of maybe instead of just doing a match inside an uh, empty performance center, it just changes it up in the appeal and the delivery and, and just the look of it all. It, it's something different. And to them, I, I, I give them credit for like thinking outside the box and like, you know, hey, let's keep this momentum going. We saw what happened at WrestleMania. Let's do the same thing uh, for Money in the Bank. And a lot of people right out of the gates were like, oh, it's like Die Hard. Ha ha. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, of course, I love Die Hard. Jimbo, you know, it's the greatest Christmas movie of all time. So I, I'm, I'm so happy that WWE is, is you know, using this as a... As, as well, a, much uh, like Die Hard, this is happening in the spring slash summertime, uh, you know, in terms of its release. So, you know, just like Die Hard's not a Christmas movie, this isn't a Christmas pay-per-view, but, you putts. But I will say this. Everyone keeps saying Die Hard. I put this on Twitter. If, if for anyone out there, if you have a chance, go see the movie called The Raid. It came out, I think, like, a little under 10 years ago it's a movie uh, uh that it, it's like the, the, this group of like police are trying to go through this building take down like this drug gang or something and they're going from the bottom floor working their way up and it's like one of the greatest if not the greatest action movie of all time with the kung fu and all the the martial arts in there and stuff it's amazing so that's how i kind of interpret this it's like okay the superstars you enter from the bottom work their way up each floor and then like they haven't said much yet, and who knows? Maybe they're trying to figure it all out as we speak. But, like, you know, are, are there going to be obstacles inside the tower? You know, as they go up the building, each floor, there's, like, a new challenge or something they got to face. It's, like, almost like a video game or, like, in the movie The Raid. It's, like, all these different, like, big bads. They got to face on the floor, each floor. So, I don't know. Like, it, it's really exciting. I don't know about you, Jim, but, but I kind of feel like it could be, like, maybe a fun video game aspect to it. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And, uh, honestly, it's funny that you're mentioning movies. The first movie that I thought of was Game of Death with Bruce Lee. <laughs> where, you know, he's going up that pagoda on each floor. There's, like, yeah. a different challenge and everything like that. And th- th- that was the first movie that I thought of with this. And I just – I am very, very interested to see how they pull this off, what what they do with it. I, I think conceptually, uh, you know, again, making the best out of a bad situation, this this sounds on the face of it like a, like a really, really fun – uh, idea. So I, I, I am looking, I'm looking forward to it. They really have me interested in it's honestly nice to sort of break up the monotony yeah. of the sort of the same old format with money in the bank anyway. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I think it was kind of in need of a little bit of a of a facelift, maybe a, yeah. maybe a change. Like I I've sort of advocated that, you know, the, the the title shot in the briefcase. Maybe it's not always for a world title shot or something like that. You know, that it's kind of a, a crapshoot on what you get because that way you can have somebody win the match, you can get them over, but they might not be ready for the world title. But you could get them a like an intercontinental title shot out of it or a tag team or something like that. And you can use it in different ways. Uh, so or, that- uh, or I was just going to say, like, they, they they win, and then, like, the next night on Raw or SmackDown or whatever, they open up the briefcase to see what title they exactly get the title shot or, for. Or they don't so reveal it. Yeah, or they don't reveal it, and, you know, they, they sure, they could reveal it, and then they would know, or they can keep it a secret until they show up and, you know, and, and challenge in that, in, in that way. Uh, well, I think it's cool also with this match for the, the for this current money in the bank. So it sounds like they're going to go up each floor and then the ring is set up on the roof. And then so it's like like one ha- the half of the match is going to be them just getting their way up each floor. So I don't know if they're going to take stairs or elevators, combination of all that. And then they have to get to the actual roof and then have the actual like, you know, traditional money in the bank type of match where there's the ring and all the ladders and actually try to grab the briefcase. So all in this together, it, it's a much different presentation. So it's exciting because it's something fresh and new yes. for us fans. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I, I am very much so bought into this and, and, and interested in how they are going to pull this off more than, you know, pretty much any match in, in, in recent memory. So kudos to them uh, for coming up with this concept. We'll see how that all plays out.